It's been a disaster in recent weeks for Derby County, but can they turn the tide as they face up against one of the toughest opponents in the division? Derby County travel down to Leeds United to face Leeds United live on Sky TV at Ellen Road this weekend. It's going to be a very, very difficult task. If you don't already check out some of the most recent videos on my channel to give you a full explanation to what is going on at Derby County, the struggles that we are facing and obviously I imagine most of you are Derby County fans so you've probably already seen those videos and it's a very turbulent time for Derby County and they find themselves in a very difficult patch with the upcoming seven games being very very difficult and their previous nine to thirteen games being very very poor results on the grand scheme of things. Are they going to be able to secure all three points and a massive shock on the road this weekend? That is something which we're going to look into in this video. But if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County and gaming content coming to the channel. And getting into this game, it is a very, very difficult one. Leeds United, obviously, one of the best teams in the division so far. We'll get into looking at where they're sitting in the league table. Derby County struggling for form. Some big suspensions and injuries as well for Derby County heading into this one. It's going to be very interesting to see how Paul Warren plays his cards and what Derby County do decide to do as they travel down to uh, Leeds United. It's, it's difficult to even think or predict this one. With the way recent performances have been going... I personally can't see us getting anything out of the game and that is just my brutal honest opinion. Now, obviously, there is nothing more Derby County than us going to Leeds United and winning 3-0 after such a poor run. And this is the thing that always gives me hope as a Derby County fan is we do the most unexpected things at the most unexpected times and maybe this weekend will be the return to form that Derby County need. Shall we get into taking a look at Derby County, at Leeds United, who's missing, who's going to be playing, and a team prediction. Well, here we have it then. Derby County and Leeds United, some big names on that suspension and injury table for Derby County with Ibu Adams, Callum Elder, David Ozo, Ryan Niambi all looking set to miss out on this one. I believe Tawanda Chiwa is back in training. David Ozo too back in training. But it looks as if it's going to be a little bit too soon. Obviously, in the most recent game, Ibu Adams picked up that fifth yellow card. And I believe that's the same for Callum Elder and his suspension. It's very disappointing to miss out on these players playing in this game. And ultimately, I think it makes the task ten times more difficult for Derby County. I think we're ultimately going to end up seeing Ben Osborne, Kenzo and uh, Liam Thompson in midfield. I think... Uh, it's going to be a difficult midfield to even judge really pre-game and it obviously makes it even more difficult looking ahead to what we're going to do in this game. And obviously if you look at the injury list for Leeds United, you've got the likes of Joe Goldhart, Ilya Gruev and Ethan Ampadu all missing out. Now, if we do look at the recent form of the two sides, you can see that Derby County have one win in five Leeds United have three wins in five games. Leeds United is only losing to Millwall and Blackburn Rovers. On the way, they've beaten Luton Town, Swansea City and QPR. Us, on the other hand, we've lost to Sheffield Wednesday and Swansea City. Draws with Preston North End and Plymouth Argyle and a victory away at Coventry City was excellent for Derby County, but ultimately they've gone on for a bad run of form. For Derby County, they are 11 points out of a possible 39 and one win in nine. Very, very disappointing set of fixtures for Derby, especially with the opponents. Uh, if we were to go and look look back a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about it uh, and how I thought December was a uh, how I thought November and December were the deciding periods for Derby County because November was full of teams in and around us, and it gave us the opportunity to push ourselves well into. Not necessarily saying we will be pushing for playoffs, but it gave us the opportunity to be pushing close to those playoff positions for then this run of games in December where ultimately we face Leeds United, we face uh, Burnley, we face Luton Town, we face West Brom, obviously there's Pompey in there as well, and then Sheffield Wednesday again on uh, New Year's Day, which is going to be a very, very interesting run of fixtures for Derby County because you look at uh, where we're sitting in the league table and We'll get that up just now for you. You've got Leeds United sitting in third place, chasing down top spot Sheffield United, who 
uh, we have to acknowledge had a two point deduction um, and are leading the table. They'd be uh, four points clear if it wasn't for their deduction. Leeds United just three points behind though. Are they going to be able to get themselves into the top of the table before Sheffield United face West Brom? That's going to be a very, very interesting one. But obviously we go down to Derby County. Five wins, five draws and eight defeats. 20 points on the board and when we look at this league table, for me, it really, really annoys me because we've probably dropped eight points, um, in my opinion. We should have beat Plymouth. Uh, we should have beat Sheffield Wednesday. We should have picked up a point minimum against Norwich City. Uh, and there's some games on the road where I think that we never really tried to even get anything out of it, where I think we probably could have got something. and. This is one of the things which really annoys me because we'd probably be sitting in and around the 8th, 9th, 10th place uh, in the division which would obviously put you in such a better position against the relegation zone heading into this tough run of form. And I know I've had a lot of stick over the last few days based on some of the things I've been putting out on here about uh, the likes of Paul Warren and the coaching staff and also the players as well. And I think I'm not necessarily talking from a sort of standpoint of we should be winning this division we should be battling for playoffs I'm talking from a standpoint of looking at the context of the performances this season we should have 25 points on the board minimum in my opinion and that is the most annoying thing for me it's not that I'm saying that at the start of the season I thought we should have been challenging for promotion or something like that because I absolutely didn't and I also don't think we should be but I do think that in the performances that we've displayed over the course of this season, that we should be doing a lot better and picked up a lot more points than we have done. And a lot of people will go, oh, well, that's down to luck, it's down to this, it's down to that. But ultimately, we've messed up a lot ourselves. Sheffield Wednesday game, how many opportunities did we have? Swansea City game, now I don't think we were very good at Swansea and I think we had the amount of opportunities we had was because they dropped off and let us in my opinion. But how many opportunities we've do do we have? We should have got a point out of that game. We should have been 2-3-0 up at half time versus Sheffield Wednesday. Go to Plymouth Argyle. How we didn't beat them, I don't know. I don't know what we was exactly trying to do versus Plymouth Argyle. Preston North End, another one, where I just don't know what the plan was. And it's really, really difficult to look at this league table right now and go, you look at the run we've got with Leeds United twice, West Brom, uh, Burnley and there is a world where come the 1st of January 2nd of January whenever we play Sheffield Wednesday we could come out of that game bottom of the table now obviously that would require every team underneath us to pick up um, at least seven points really because that would make Pompey go above us as well um, and do I see that happening maybe not but is it a possibility absolutely we face uh, Portsmouth in this run of fixtures there's three points they can gain on us but it's also three points we can then gain on them so it's a very difficult situation that we find ourselves in here at Derby County because we've got this awful run of games that we're coming into now with Leeds, Burnley, Pompey, Luton, West Brom, Leeds, Sheffield Wednesday and I'm not necessarily saying that we can't pick up points in this run but I think in my opinion there's max six points on the table that you could probably look at and go oh we could get a win there I think Sheffield Wednesday should have beat them at home we have to beat them away I think Luton Town there's a potential for a point there we know how they've struggled recently and Portsmouth that's a game where we should be winning we're at home facing at the moment the worst team in the division and this is where I think it's a very difficult period for Derby County because of the run of fixtures we've got, where most of them are in the top six. Where is Sheffield Wednesday sitting now? They're now sitting 12th, just five points away. That is where I think we should be, within this pack here. And ultimately, it's our recent performances that have dropped us out. Now, looking into this game, you look at some of the players that... Uh, Leeds United have available to them. A big one is Jaden Bogle, player we all know well, has developed a lot since leaving Derby County, but still has that defensive frailty. Joe Rodon, an excellent player as well. You go into the midfield, you look at Ethan Ampadu, Brendan Aronson, some really, really good players in there. And you even look at the, the forward line, you've got the likes of Willie Nonto, you've got Patrick Bamford, Solomon, James Peru, some very, very good performers in there. And 
if we do just look at um, Leeds United's upcoming games, Middlesbrough, Preston, Oxford, Stoke, us again, Blackburn, they've got a fairly decent run for themselves and they're obviously looking to push for those automatic promotion places. If we do look at the form for the last five games, they find themselves fifth in the league table. We find ourselves down in 16th and ultimately if we pick up another defeat, we will then drop right the way down to 23rd. Uh, we will with this, just the two points. Now, if we look at where every team should be uh, in this foot mob league table based on XG, uh, goal attempts, uh, expected points, Leeds United should be leading the way, which they probably will agree they should be leading the way. And we are one place down on where we should be. We should have scored 19 goals. Uh, we're plus two on that. We've conceded more than we should have. And we've also picked up less points than we should have. And I said I think we should be around the 25 point mark and they also agree that we should be around the 24, 25 point mark with 24. So it's a very turbulent situation for Derby County. Now the big question for me now as we go towards the lineup builder is how are we going to set up now without Eva Adams? And for me this is a massive question, it's a massive responsibility that Paul Warren has to deal with and it's one which isn't going to be easy. And I think it's going to revolve around the 3-5-2 formation. I think we're going to see... Um, I think we're going to see something along the lines of this. Uh, let's put Wilson in there. Nelson out there. Let's get Nat Phillips where you are. I think we're going to see something like... Where's Dej? Something like this. A back five of Fozzie, Cashin, Phillips, Nelson and Wilson. Obviously, Zeta Strom in goal. Don't think anybody really needs any questions about that. A midfield three of Osborne. Uh, obviously, we can't play Adams, so let me just take him out. I meant to put Kenzo in. Uh, a midfield three, sorry, of uh, Kenzo, Osborne and Thompson. And a front two of Jerry Yates and Dejon Brown. Now, for me, I'm not necessarily saying this is the right way to go. But we're going away from home. We struggle away from home anyway. Our best performances away from home have come in a back three. I don't think we. Sh I, I don't necessarily think we should play a three. I think we'd probably be better off uh, playing something like uh, this, where he's uh, something along the lines of this. In my opinion, now, Caden Jackson, fifty-fifty coin toss with. Uh, Marcus Harness, Mendes Lang, 50-50 coin toss with Tom Barkazen or um, Corey Blackett-Taylor. Ultimately, I think both of our wingers haven't been up to the standard that they should have been at. I think defensively, obviously, it looks as if Callum Elder is suspended. I thought he had another yellow card to give, if I'm honest. Um, so it's going to be Fozzy. It has to be Fozzy. Back to Cash and Nels, Wilson at right back. And... Realistically, I think for the betterment of Derby County, I think we really should have a back three because I think we're going to get very. I think we're going to get bullied. If I'm completely honest, I think we're going to get bullied. I do think there's a world where we see this as well, by the way, uh, where we only play two central midfielders and go three up top and have it as like um, two middle, uh, two tens essentially. Um, rather than wide players and sort of have it as a box in the midfield. A bit like we did against Sunderland. Now, obviously, these are all uh, hypotheticals and it could all change, but this is sort of... I'm anticipating a back three. And you lot can let me know your thoughts down in the comments, obviously. I'm really intrigued to see what you lot have to say. Obviously, the recent performances heading into this game versus Leeds. What do you think Paul Warren's going to do? What do you think Derby County should do? Can we get all three points? Let me know in the comments. Now, we've been through the team prediction. We've previewed the game. We've looked at Leeds United. It's going to be a difficult one. It really is. And I'm really intrigued to hear what you guys have to say. And when really do you think there's going to be pressure uh, for the likes of Paul Warren, for uh, his coaching staff and things like that? Because in my opinion, it's already building based on the recent performances and the lack of results. But I'm just really intrigued to hear what you guys have to say about that because I do think we're closing in on pressure time for Paul Warren and it's going to be interesting to see how that does go. So massive set of games coming up. We will be keeping across all of them. 
gaming videos first thing every morning so make sure you check them out and i'll catch you in the next video